Hello again and welcome back to a brand new episode of my in-depth series. In my last review you had the possibility to choose the band's country for this video out of three options, Germany, Finland and Sweden, and all of you who answered in the comments were for Finland, so Finland it is. I had this band up my sleeve from the beginning and now I am glad that I can present you my friends from Lost in Grey. And for the first time in the in-depth series we will take a look not at one album but three, in fact everything they released until now. I was told that they are working at their fourth album and uh, they are now in Sweden and they just finished the mixing uh, stage and soon we will have information about the release date and the title of the album. But until then let me tell you my story about how I met them and how we became friends. The one and only time I saw them live, it was in 2019 in my hometown, in Foreign Space. It was a show from the Female Metal Voice Tour and I went to see Sirenia, who was headliner along with Leaves Eyes and Lost in Grey was, was uh, one of the support bands along with Asphodelia and Forever Steel and I never heard about Lost in Grey before. When I saw Lost in Grey performing on stage, I was stunned by their performance, their instrumentals but even more about their teamwork and love and passion for their music. The music they play is swinging back and forth between calm and ragey, slow and hardcore, melodic and heavy. It is awesome. After the show I met the band and we took some pictures and had a little chat with some of the band members and I remember I also got a drumstick and a guitar pick from them. As I mentioned earlier I was stunned by their performance during the show but I fell in love with their music only after I listened to the albums for several times. And after this I decided to give them all my support and decided to buy all, the, all of their albums from their shop. But before this I wrote them an email about my intention that I would like all of my stuff to be signed and dedicated for my order. And this was the moment when our friendship began when Harry answered my request. Harry is the band's vocalist, keyboard, keyboard player and composer. He told me that he was happy to fulfill my wish and what he did it was beyond any expectation. He not only signed my stuff but he also sent me this picture by email and what was to my biggest surprise of all was this. Hi there Peter, we are now signing your vinyl and we really hope you will enjoy it and hopefully see you soon at our shows too. Thank you so much for your support. Hey. Cheers. Cheers. I was and I still am very thankful for all the fuss he did for me. After this we stayed in touch and my wife, to my request, made some nice paintings which were sent to the band as an early Christmas gift two years ago. Her first painting was inspired by a scene from their song Vario from their last album Under the Surface. The second one was a reproduction of the same covers album artwork with some changes and another little painting as a holiday spirit gift for them. They received our present with joy and many many thanks and they also made some posts on their social media of this. Two weeks ago I received a gift from Harry which contained three shirts, one of those shirts I am wearing right now, it also contained two posters, a handwritten letter and three guitar picks which were used in the recording of their fourth album. Thank you again for this gift my friend and I hope we have a cold one soon. Enough with the stories for now, let's see what I have here. As I said earlier, we will take a look at all of their three albums and first of all I have Lost in Grey's first album, The Grey Realms, which in physical form it is available only as a digipack. Here I have their second album, The Wasteland, which is also available on CD only as a digipack. 
And finally, their third and last album for now, it's under the surface, which I have it here as a CD in jewel case, and here I have the two black disc gatefold edition of their vinyl, which is limited and hand numbered. And as you got used to it, let's take a closer look at them one by one. Here we have the band's first album, The Grey Rounds. Cool artwork on the front and on the back, we have the title of the eight album tracks. As we open it, to the left we have a pocket in which we have a booklet, and to the right we can see their logo which was signed by all the members of the band, and I also got a nice message from Harry. As we unfold the cover again, we can see a little text with such a deep meaning. In the center we have the CD with their logo, the booklet has 24 pages, first thing, to the left you can see the track list, and to the right the character personifications of Patrick, Lilium and Odessa. It contains all the lyrics and if you read them you will find that every song has a deep meaning that can give you something to think about. It also contains really nice pictures of the band members. The second album, The Wasteland, with a great cover art and the title of the 8 tracks on the back. As we open the digipack to the left, there is a pocket with a nice message for me from Emily with the booklet in it. And to the right is their logo fully signed by the band. In the center we have the CD and in the right a part of the cover art. The booklet has 20 pages and inside we have the lyrics of every song along with a great picture. At the center of the booklet we have a photo of the band in the wasteland. And in the end there are the credits. Here we have the CD of the third album, Under the Surface. On the back of the jewel case we have the title of the nine album tracks. Under the CD we have the logo of the band. And here we have the 20 page booklet with the epic cover art. Inside as usual there is a cool picture of each member along with the lyrics of the song. In the center we can see the message I received from Anna Lil. At the end we have the credits and here is the sign back of the booklet. And finally the vinyl of the same album. The front cover is signed and dedicated. On the back we have the tracklist divided in two chapters and the credits. Inside we have the lyrics of every song and a signed photo of each member. And because the vinyl is strictly limited to 100 pieces, at the top right corner you can see the handwritten number of my copy. On the first disc, or first chapter as they call it, we have 6 tracks, 4 on side A and 2 on side B. On the second disc, or second chapter, we have the remaining three songs on side C. And side D can be used as a mirror at home because it has no grooves on it. Ok, this was all for this video. Tell me in the comments how you liked it. Also feel free to share it, hit the like button and subscribe for similar content in the near future. In my next video I will talk about one of my favorite German band's brand new album, can you guess the album and the band? And one more thing, I have two posters there in the back and the guitar pick here. This is for you guys, if you would like one of them, tell me in the comments down below and I will send it to you by post. See you in my next video, until then, live life loud.